Hi guys and welcome back to episode 15 of the Rage series. In the previous episode, we went into interchange, got some stuff done there. And in this episode, I want to go into factory, get postman pat done, and then jump back into customs to get farming part three and the one after postman pat. I think it's shaking up teller maybe. Something around there. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so remember to keep an eye out on those uh, introductions to see what's going on there. Um, now, we need to... Because there's something secret in each of them. Uh, this is the last episode of the week. So let's make it a good one. First up, um, I want to go into factory. Where's here? Do I have a factory key ready to go? I do. Uh, I want to go into factory and I just want to grab the item for postman pack. So don't really need much else outside of that. To be honest, for factory, I almost want to take this yeah that'll do and I think we're good i think we're good that's all the logistics and that i was thinking about that all right cool oh dailies what do we got uh hand over a tech manual oh we got two of them if you three thousand next thing Survive from smugglers boat on customs. We're going to have a look. Kill and eliminate any PMC operative using a throwable. Interesting. And eliminate scads while using SMGs. It's five of them. Not too bad. Um, hide out real quick. All right, so we've got generator two. Stole that one. Means so we can get rid of some of these big fuels out of the way. Nutrition's done. We need to get stash level two. Workbench level two, which we should be able to do now. Um, we could do this one. Oh no, we can't do this yet. We've got to wait for mechanic level two. We need a little bit more XP. I think it's next level. Yep, next level. And got to get a quest done. So we'll get farming done. The easiest way. And we're only 9,000 XP for the next level. So that's pretty straightforward and easy. Where are we going to fit this? Factory, let's go. On the other side of the map. Two on two. Oh god. Underneath. I was finding underneath. I swear I heard a footstep here, though. There is.
Mon boy. Leave. Just need to get the XP so it wasn't a run through. I don't think it would have affected the actual quest, but no, it's not to do run throughs. Stick up your ass. Oh, well, you're dead. Another bear. Wow, so many people playing bears. So many people playing bears. We, sm uh, we spawned in over a glass hallway and we just ran straight across to where postman pad is. We got the item, killed the player right next to it and then just ran out one of the extracts. It's very straightforward pathing. Nothing tricky about that one. So postman pad gets handed into therapist first. After you hand it into therapist, then you hand it into prepper and then after that you get shaking up the color i believe no you don't because we don't have rep level two Got about that m67 grenades we would have bought these don't know if we get m67s at level two Bell after quest completion. Wow. I didn't even think about that. Normally I'm past shaking up Teller before I do chemical. Okay. Well, do we go to, do we bother going to, um, uh, da, da, da. Do we bother going to customs at all then? So what would we be doing? We're not doing shake out teller, so we'd just be killing scavs. Sorry, killing players. Yeah. We're not worth it. Farming part farm I like the idea of getting farming part three done though, because it gives us shooter born in heaven. So maybe we should just go customs to do shooter board and have it, get the shooter board in heaven unlocked. Um, otherwise, Ollie on interchange. Also unlocks a heap of stuff to make us some space. Hmm. The spanner in the works. I didn't even think about that. And they're expensive on the flea. M67s. How many we need? 10. So it'd be 200k. And I like four more. Well, we don't even have the rep anyway, even with that quest done. What are we going to do? Bunker search mission. Why are we struggling for rep so much? The standard account problems, I guess. Holocom Hobo. This is Killing Scabs on Customs. Killing Scabs on Woods. Do we have Junkie? Could we do Junkie? We do have Junkie. Anything else for Woods? Um, not really. <laughs> Man. This is a struggle. To get that. Supply plans. So we can go into woods, kill some scavs. How many do we need for shootout picnic? We'd need to do... Okay. I think we do bunker part one and two. 
And this is the reason behind it. I think we have a weekly to survive reserve 10 times. So if we do bunker part one and two, we get 20,000 XP. If we can survive it 10 times. I think we do that. Where's the rig I was using that one? Five, six, seven. All right, we just focus on getting our quest done. Do we have anything else for reserve now? We're gonna to commit to hard to it. So bunker part one. We've got, don't we have, we've got KSM. Is this where we get a document case? Yep. Hold on. Um, so, is there any way we can if I could get that out. Alright. And then for this, we want AM. We'll put the drawline keys in there. Reserve has a pretty good chance to find keys as well, so pretty good thing we get to do this. Alright, and this gives the option to take no backpack extract. I just want to this gun off the scar. I sold on flea. Cool. I don't think we can get RB dash SMP. No, still not for sale. 118. They'll start going off the sound now that the barter trades are ridiculous. Just 118 barter trades up. All right, let's go. All right. Um, ooh, I'm gonna go up for this one. I'm gonna go up and then back down. If we're gonna go to bunker, we want to do that as fast as possible, preferably. Great news is no one should be in D2 by the time we get there. If we go straight into uh, the bunker and into D2. There should be a guy, or there's a spawn right in front of me and underneath in this front bit here. Here we like right there. But if he hasn't spawned in and gone straight down to the bunker, arguably, we could go the whole way. The spawn to the right here. I think I heard footsteps. Hello? Raiders are here.
Need to run. They should be slowed down now. The player, at least. We don't need to kill anymore. We've got our kill. There's obviously two or three players coming down. Definitely more than one. Mm -hmm. We spawned up on the top. So unless someone ran all the way to the top and then back down. Getting a headshot on a raid is like a thousand XP, so we definitely have to worry about XP. You're right there, buddy. Did looting for us. That is pretty much this map, just chaos at the start. Everything seems to happen in the first like minute or two. Oh, Motors is selling for like 70k at the moment. And Spunker part one done. We didn't even need to worry about that. So yeah, we killed the raider. And then there was players. There was definitely two players coming down. I heard two different guns shooting, so... Got away from there. Didn't want to have to get in a big long for a long fight down there. And then headed towards the extract. Obviously, there was a guy that had gone up to the house uh, to the dome and then came down. He was living on his way down. Um. As for loot, for now, I'm happy. Definitely want to select the peacekeeper. That gives us easy money. Oh, level 20, we just unlocked peeps more. Okay, cool. Anchor part one is done. Anchor part two. Which gives us enough rep to get to the proper level two. So we'll give that a go. It's going to be pretty crazy. Do I like this first? I don't Yes. 
money spent on prepper, got money spent. Yeah, you go. Right. Now for bunker part two. This one's horrific. We'll see what we can do. All right, we need anything. We'll go back. Six. All right, next rate. Let's go. All right, so we have spawned literally the other side of the map. So I'm just going to run this way. We actually do get a lot of uh, reserve quests from Peacekeeper, but we still need to get chemical. The chemical. Uh, no, sorry. We need to get friend from the West done. Kind of sucks. So. I'll probably just run across the tops of these, then go across to the med building, and then on the med building go down. Hopefully, we don't run into too many players. I'm trying to get to all these entrants. We could have actually gone down here. Actually, this gets another quest done. I'm doing it. The Yanga quest. We just got to run through it. We don't have to actually do anything. Don't have any other keys for here. No. Called reserve. You just literally got to run over here. One done. All right, med building and down the KSM. I just heard a jump in night. Right, this is KSM. That's uh, between here. Five places to go. I shouldn't be puffing this much. It should be taking a bit slower. This is where the issue is going to be. Hello.
So I'd like to mix up, switch between like daytime and nighttime and stuff like that and hope to get a quieter raid. I don't know if there's anyone sneaking around down here. I, I'm always, I'm always terrified down here. Shouldn't be doing this. Probably someone up on the dome. Or outside somewhere. Thermals doing their. I don't the name of the quest, but doing that quest. Um, test drive. Or insomnia, actually. Of course, it's a rooster. Need a daughter that person. Just double check, bunker part two. All right, so this is gonna survive time. Been six minutes and forty seconds, so it's gonna be. seconds. Pop this while we're walking. Should, this should be close to the amount of stamina I need to get the whole way. Big win, big win. So that's bunker part two done. We got one of the uh, the med therapist quests done, and we also got um, reserve. I think it's called from Jaeger. And we're getting shit done. Getting shit done. All right, so let's hand that in. Oh, and to do with pathing, right? We ran all over the map. We just, okay, we just didn't go through the center of the bunker part. I, I did a couple of little dodgy things where I just like ran and quickly got, instead of going from the top down each time, I, I, I cut across a little bit at the bottom just to, um, I couldn't hear any running around. So usually people will camp in that middle bit where the bun, where the lever is. I couldn't hear them there, so I didn't, I didn't uh, stress too much about it. All right, so disease history is done. We should now have Crapper level two, which is great. Shaking up Teller is now unlocked. We're going to go to Dorms 203. We've got the reserve quest done. We now have Kill Bucker. Which is nice. All right, so a bit of bad habit as well. Oh, did we finish bad habit? Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong person. That's why. 
Cool. All right, so now we should go customs. Customs. Definitely take a backpack. So farming part three, we need the 203k, which we have. Kill, we kill Rishala, bonus. Let's check out our stash upgrade. All right, so we need a little bit more stuff, but we need to save up 2.5 million now. Um, let's see. A lot of these for now I can put down here. I've got the 203. A bit of cash would be nice. And after that, it's just as simple as um, director key, director office key, 203, kill Rashala, kill scabs. Might even get all scab kills for that. Doing well. All right, let's go. All right, uh, we're going to get a big red first up, so let's get that done. Already here. This could actually work out well. We could go big red, dorms, and then tie extract if it's up. I'm going to try and move nice and quick. Yo, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta do farming. I gotta grab the, the, the graphics cards. We don't have to do this. Alright, man. Um, do you wanna go? Huh. Yeah, alright. You go first, mate. I can wait out here. You, you know, it doesn't have to be like, you know, dodgy or anything. What's that, sir? I can wait out here. I don't trust this guy. Uh, nah, I'm on setup. I'm pretty sure if I try to kill me, you're gonna get me first. If I try to kill you, you're going to win. I tried going to be for your dog tags before, mate. Didn't work out for me. Have a good one. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Pretty funny. I going for your dog tank before it didn't work out for me. <laughs> He's probably just like out there waiting for me to look, walk down now. Respect the hustle. <laughs> it's a nice guy. Right. The farming part. Pretty funny, like, I die a lot in this game. Like, I get kills. I get a fair few kills, but I still die a lot. I do have a class 5 armor, thankfully, so that I, he would have been using, um, the chets, the chetties, and that wouldn't have got through my armor in one shot at least. Would have hurt, though. I'll pop this. Should still have enough hydration to get there. Got about 10 minutes of hydration.
All right, so 203 and out. Be the dream. Go around here. I don't normally do it this way, but. Car is there. All right, so. We could just go up into 203 and then just run back around. Apparently I've been five minutes already. Just go quick. We do this super fast. I don't know when we got straight to second. on the way through. What if we check the mark room? We know the car's there. Take mask. Well, money was, it's not too bad. Do something useful with a couple of minutes while we waited for the timer. If it was a bit of a quiet, quieter dorms, and it was good to get through it. Um, <laughs> and we talked the guy out of going from, from uh, <laughs> Big Red, which was nice. Had right, our money, wait 30 seconds, oh, minute, sorry, and then. Wrecking. But done. Done 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 on. So that was actually some good quests. Uh we spawned over near Big Red, went into Big Red, ran across the dorms, got the 203 room, checked the marks room while we we're there, might as well. We had the key and then got out. So call that a big win. Didn't actually kill anything though, which was kind of interesting. These things happen. Alright, so for quest wise, checking up teller is now done. Means we now have to punish a quest, which is on shoreline. That's a big thing to do. You wanna be on you ultimately this is how I like to go into shoreline. Punisher part one. I wanna be on I wanna on peacekeeper's quest. 
and I want to have signal. That's the minimum normally for me to go shoreline. If you're lucky enough to go through and get like shooter born heaven first, it's good because you want to be on shoreline as small as more men as possible. We have so many quests now. Um, we have so many quests for shoreline too now. So we've got like stuff like courtesy visit. We'll get stuff um, like these ones. Healthcare privacy. We've got one. Oh, it's just yeah, a lot of quests. All right, so we'll put this in here. Wrap up. There you go like that. And then, bam. All right. Well, as for this quest, though, that's probably going to be it. This is actually nice, not, not a bad gun. We'll, we'll hold on to that one. We don't need that as a vendor. Um, all three of those are vendors, actually. Plague Mask, I actually vendor as well, with 50k. It's one of the highest valued streamer items, but it takes a full square, so. Um, and then in here, they both go to um, peacekeeping. Oh, shit. Increasing our money spent on peacekeeper. We've got 5k left to get on him. But yeah, that is it for this uh, this run. We've been going really well. Uh, it's the last episode of the week. We're on a nine survival streak too. Definitely getting that survival uh, rate back up, which is good. Um, guys, hope you have a wait, safe and wonderful weekend. Uh, make sure you keep checking out those interests of the clues. I do believe you've got the first week, or first week, the first clue already. Um, so let's keep it going. It's been fun. We've been reading the comments to see if you guys get them each day. So um, good job. People that are actually taking part of it. Um, what's today? Friday. So today's video is the C Gaming Chair. Would have either, yeah, would have just gone out. So the Ultimate Gaming Chair C Edition. So go check that one out if you uh, enjoy the IRL content. Appreciate it. It's on the main channel, Pestily. YouTube.com forward slash Pestily. Um, I might even chuck a link, link below if I remember. But besides that, guys, hope you have a great, safe, wonderful week, weekend. And uh, we'll be back on Monday. So lastly, we'll see you next time.